everybody, welcome back to the channel. Shayna here, and today I have for you guys my April haul. Um, not sure how long this video is gonna be because this haul is absolutely ridiculous and massive. Um, I don't think I realized that I acquired so much this month. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I guess we'll go ahead and just get started. Um, I don't even know where to put this stuff. I think I'm just gonna slide things around. And this will be coloring books and supplies. So first, let's do the, and reading books as well. So let's go ahead and just start with coloring books, I guess. Um, so I got, I know I showed you guys this, I believe on my live, cause I think I got it that day. This is Love Stories by Hatchet Heroes. Um, and I will be doing a full flip of this with the other Disney book that I got, which I should probably show that next. Um, it would just make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, this is the Spanish edition, but it is just a tiny little square book. Um, oh, here. I, well, I guess while I'm at it, I'll show you guys this one. I did a flip through of this as well as my lovely garden, but I believe I showed you this in my haul last month. I just couldn't remember, and it's in the pile, so. <laughs> but yeah, this book is tiny. This is a regular letter size um, book, and this one is only like a corner of that. So it is very, very small, oh, but it is mighty. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's super cute. Um, some of it's very zen doodly, but you don't always have to color all of that stuff in. So I'm very excited to have this one. I think I found it on Amazon and it didn't take as long to get to me as it said that it would, neither did the other Disney book that I got. But yeah, so this is, I think it's love stories, but maybe, because his, Historias de Amor, don't judge me um, in my pronunciation, but this is like, that's not a love story, so I don't, <laughs> neither is that, but, oh, Arch Nemesis, I'm assuming is what that says, so, yeah, I guess it's just various friendships and such in here, but, yeah, so super cute, super fun, we will be doing a full flip of that one. I'm gonna keep this in a separate pile for the ones that I need to do flip throughs of. All right, next I have the two books from um, my coloring and subscription or coloring and classics subscription this month, and um, the reading book I'll show you in the reading pile. But I always do those last, so if you guys don't want to stick around for that, that's fine. Um, but this is puzzles, Rubik's cube puzzles, um, and I think I might send this to my dad. I don't know. I might try a few and see what happens, but I feel like it's just gonna sit around. Um, yeah, I don't know. We shall see. But I thought it was kind of cool that they had their own, like, puzzle book. Um, and then they sent Color Me Masks, which are masks to color in. And I feel like this would be really fun for, like, a party or, I don't know, just being bored one night. <laughs> Who knows? But I think they're super cute. Would be really fun to color in. And then... I don't know, make up an excuse to wear it around the house. So yeah, super fun. There are full flips, well, not a full flip of this, but a full flip of this in the Coloring and Classics unboxing that I recently did. <clears throat> and then we have an anticipated book. Um, well, so much for showing you the other Disney book. I'm just kind of going at the pile order which doesn't really have an order, but um, I also did a flip through of this. This is Johanna Basford's newest book that came out in April, um, Worlds of Wonder, and it is my favorite of hers um, thus far. I really like it. I mean, I love all of her stuff, really, um, but this page is just stunning, and it is so creative and so cute, and you can tell that it really just came like from her heart. I don't know that I would ever color that, but that's besides the point. Um, and yeah, it's just super fun. I love the tiny houses um, and that they're like floating and like this bed post. It's so stinking cute. So yeah, can't wait to color in this hopefully soon. <laughs> but that is Worlds of Wonder. And then I grabbed Sally Berry's My Lovely Garden, and this one is just super sweet and simple, and I love all the spring imagery in it. I also did a flip of this with the Positive Vibe book, 
So yeah, it's just so cute. I love it. That's one of my favorite pages, the repellent. I just think it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, these guys have been sitting in my pile for a while, so they're kind of bent. So I'm hoping they bend back into shape soon. But yeah, there's a flip of that on my uh, channel as well. Um, and now we're getting into the books that um, I, well, actually, let me show you guys these. I picked up the rest. Well, I think she's got a new one out now, so I'm going to have to, maybe that'll be my one buy this month of May, um, is the Color by Colors book, because I think she's putting out a new one. But yeah, I have these guys, so I have a plan to do a video with these. Um, so hopefully I will get to that this month. Um, but yeah, I, there's Puzzle Animals, which was the first one. Um, and then I think it was the Mandala book that you would have seen in my completed pages. And then I have the, this is Spring, which is super stinking cute, except for that book that kind of weirded me out. And then we have um, Women's World, which is absolutely adorable. I love it. Um, couldn't tell you what all the countries are, but I love it. It is so cute. They're chibi girls almost. And yeah, I'm super excited to color in these. So I have a video planned for that as well. This is why I don't want to buy anything else this um month or yeah in May because I have so much I need to flip through for you guys and stuff I want to do <laughs> all right so then I did pick up because I wanted it at the discount price the color questopia highlight reel so this has 50 images from 50 books so there's a sample page from each of their books and I'm very excited to have this I did get the black backgrounds um I like doing the lines every once in a while, but when I, I've decided that when I want to, at least as of right now, when I want to pick up a color by number book, I just want to jump in and color it. I don't really want to have to worry about the mosaic lines, which I guess I wouldn't have to. So I'm just putting that unnecessary pressure on myself. What is this? Sloss? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's mama and that's a baby. I was like, is that a two-headed pig? I, I don't know, um, but it's lost. Okay, I get it now. Um, so yeah, I just picked this up because I want to, I don't, I can't keep up with them. <laughs> so to have a page from all of the books that they've released thus far um, is super exciting. So I did pick up the black background and I can't wait to color in it. Um, I could see myself probably flying through this book if I have the time. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is that. And they do have the white background as well. Mm -hmm. And this does have the full color palette because that is what the earlier books are based off of. So we're back to the 50 colors in this one just because of that's just how some of their older books were. So, um, so just something to think about. I know some of you guys are really against it. Um, it's not my favorite thing, but I get why it has to be that way for this highlight reel. All right. So we'll do a flip of that one eventually too. And then I don't want to show too much because I want to do a flip of this one really soon, but I picked up Yippie Kawaii A2. So this is more Kawaii Mandalas by Danny Banani and of Fun Usual Suspects over on Etsy. And I can't, I'm so excited. <laughs> so I can't wait to get into this one, but I don't want to unbag it now. So I'm just going to leave it. But this was accidentally sent to my parents' house. And, and unlike the Coloring Heaven magazine, um, this was my own fault. I used Apple Pay instead of just like paying normally. And that's connected to my billing address, which is my parents. Um, God darn it. Wait, are we still recording? Oh, excuse me. Okay, we are still recording, I believe. I think it just disconnected from my iPad. Are we still shooting? Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is what you get when you come to Colorland, y'all. Because um, I I don't have time this week to take that out. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I accidentally sent this home. So when my parents came down, they brought it to me. Um, yeah, I don't even want to flip it over because I know there's something on the back and I just want to unbag it with you guys. Um, I might actually film that after 
after this. So yeah, there will be a flip through of that coming soon. And then I picked up Coloring Heaven, Fairy Story Special, and this is the Fabiana Atanasio edition. And it has images from all of her books, um, the fairy tale ones especially. So I am very excited to have this collection of hers. I believe I only have Snow White. Um, so that's super exciting to have this. And this one was also sent to my house, but not by me. I, I don't know what happened. If you watch my color and chat, I think I talked about it a little bit there. All right, we're getting there, y'all. <laughs> 10 minutes and we're almost through the books. So the other Disney book I picked up this month is Portraits, and I am obsessed with this. I don't, I think this is the French version. It doesn't matter. Um, it is another like bound book, so I'm expecting the pages to fall out, but there are some amazing portraits in here. Look at it's Maximus of characters like that that you don't see so often. There's Stitch. Um, so I have been eyeing this book for a long time and I just bit the bullet and did it. I don't think it was actually that expensive. Um, it did take a while to get to me, but not too bad. There's the cover image. So yeah, I will do a flip through of this one as well. And I am very excited to have it. Hopefully we will get to work on a page in there this month. It is still hashtag spring into Disney 2021. So um, keep coloring those Disney pages, guys. I love seeing them over on Instagram. Um, and then finally I picked, well not finally, but of the ones that I bought, I picked up um, Mandala Coloring Book 54, uh, unique and highly detailed mandalas, and that is not a lie, for Adult Relaxation Management Concentration and Mandala Meditation by Camelia Angelkova. Um, and I picked it up because I had some credit left over, so I was like, well, let's use it on her mandala book. And I didn't realize there were these preview pages, but we'll do a flip of this as well. Oh, wait. Um, the other chameleon book I picked up, hold on, I need to show in the haul, too. Yeah. <laughs> Struggles. Okay, this whole video is a struggle. <laughs> if you stuck with me this long, thank you. Um, so yeah, super detailed mandalas, but these are going to be really fun with gel pens. Um, and I want to collect all of her books at some point, so I figured might as well add this one to my collection. Um, this one is still detailed, but much smaller. I'm not even sure how you could color some of that, but we're going to try. So yeah, they're very detailed. Might not color every single one, but I do like them. I love to have her artwork. That one weirds me out. That's like a spider web with bugs all caught in there, and those look like moss, and I don't like it. But yeah, we'll do a flip of that. Ooh, that's fun. This one as well. So that is that. And then... The other camellia book is, oh, I spit, ew, <laughs> is 50 Ocean Miniatures. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. We'll see. Um, <coughs> and I did, excuse me, do a flip through of this on my live video, but I will do a flip of this as well um, with the 54 miniatures so that you guys have just a separate flip of this book because I love her work. This one's one of my favorite pages just because... Look who's hiding in there. Um, super cute, super summery. Turtles. Um, and a stingray. So Danny's favorite, and then my favorite. <laughs> I love stingrays. Um, and yeah, it'll be a fun time. So that is that one. And then Miss Lisa from Lisa's Coloring Corner surprised me with some happy mail. Um, she sent me three books, and I am so excited to have them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lisa. Um, I really appreciate your support. And these came when I needed a little bit of a pick-me-up and just, um, yeah, just some joy. <laughs> so I do so, so appreciate it. Um, this book in particular, Cute Pets and Animals by Draw Tensil, has been on my wish list for a very long time. So I do appreciate this one a heck of a lot. Look how cute they are. They're little stained glass animals. And they're so adorable. There's a dragon. Oh my gosh, he's toasting marshmallows. So cute. Um, I think I saw this on John, the bibliophile with colorist. I think I saw it on his channel originally. Um, and yeah, they are so, so cute. 
So yeah, super excited about this. I love the stained glass style. Um, and again, I don't wanna do a full flip through right now, but we will do one. Um, so that is that. And then um, she sent me Sachin's 100 coloring, Sachin and Prachi, no, Sachin Sach Deva's um, 100 coloring pages, which this is awesome because it has all of his books, I believe. Um, so the book features 100 best coloring pages from the following books, so of 12, 12 of his books. Um, so there's probably some repeats in, or like repeated books, not pages, but that is super exciting. Look at the Christmas ones. Oh my goodness. I love it. So, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, that surprised me. Those are really tiny little boxes. Might have to break out either the Tao trees or um, some water-based markers for those. We'll see. But, yeah. So it looks like they go in order, kind of. Um, like, here's the mandala animal pages, which is exciting. And then, yeah. You, you know what I mean. So very fun. I am so excited to have this because I love Sachin's work and Prachi's. <laughs> and then she sent me this one. I added this to my wish list. I just on a whim, I think I saw it um, the other day or not the other day, but a little while ago and just put it on there because I thought it was funny. Um, but yeah, dark and stormy. So it gives you like, I have a, the coffee book like this that Elizabeth sent me, but um, this one is, I believe, alcoholic drinks. I think there's some um, other ones too, but yeah, it cracked me up. So I was like, that's fun. Um, a polo, look at the pig, how cute. I don't even know what some of these are, but I just thought it was fun and cute. So we'll flip through that one later too. <laughs> but yeah, that is all for the coloring books. Um, most of them I still have to do flip throughs of. Yay. So I'm gonna try not to accumulate uh, too much this month. Oh man, my eyeball. There's something in it. Okay. As for supplies, um, the one that I forgot to show you last month were, were these um, Weisbrandt markers, I believe. I don't think there's even 50. Well, maybe, I don't know, 25 to 50 set of Weisbrandt markers. They are brush tip. Um, they do work really well. I love the colors. Um, and then this side is the chisel. And these were sent to me by the lovely Samantha. So thank you, Samantha. I so appreciate them. Um, but yeah, I really, I wanna work with them a little bit more um, because they tend to splatter a little bit, but I think that's user error and not the marker. I think it's just me. <clears throat> but yeah, so that is the ones that I missed last month. <laughs> and then this month I picked up these King Art um, Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks, Assortment of Vibrant Colors, 48 Comfort Grip Gel Sticks, Soft Buttery Texture, Rich Vibrant Colors, Odorless and Non-Toxic, um, Storage Cases Included, which is super exciting. But they are water soluble, because when I got them and it didn't say that immediately on the box, I was like, uh-oh, but they are. Um, it says it somewhere else. But they come in these cases. Isn't that cool? Like... All these cases and they're shiny and I think they're all are they all metallic I don't know but um, they are really really cool I haven't used them yet because I want to do a video with them but you can see them in there um, so yeah I love that they come in these little cases because I can take them out of that massive box and just keep them in these little guys and they'll store so much easier on my art cart but yeah I really want to use them on a background for something. I'm just trying to decide what, and then we will hopefully be able to do that on camera together. I can't get it back in the box. Poop, okay, that's all right, I'll figure it out. So yeah, that is on the to-do list. Um, and then before I show you the most random thing of all, um, we'll go ahead and do my reading books. So I did, and I don't have the cover with me, but there is this cool cover of like lipsticks and a bullet on the bottom. This is The Hunting Wives by May Cobb, and this was my first ever book of the month. So I'm very excited to have this one. Oh, I didn't realize it had April 2021 printed on there because um, I wrote it in here. Um, but yeah, I'm not super far. I'm only to this bit. There's a bookmark in here somewhere. It says Mark is unread. <laughs> um, 
but I have my little sprout in here that my mom sent me for Easter. She sent me a bunch of these and they're so cute. Um, but that's halfway. So I like to mark my progress. Um, I just, I read the other thriller that I talked about, thriller, um, the other book that I talked about in my color and chat. Um, so I haven't picked this one back up, but I plan to do that tonight actually. So I'm very excited. But yeah, this is my first book of the month and so far so good. <laughs> um, and then Murder at the Mill is um, the book that I got from Coloring and Classics subscription. So yeah, it is, it takes place at Christmas time. So I'm just planning, it's like a cozy mystery, I think. Um, so I'm just planning to read this around then. Cozy whodunit mystery. And then I picked up, um, not book outlet, thrift books had a sale or like double points for um, their orders. So I ordered a bunch of books to get me to a free book. So I have to order my free book soon. But I picked up a bunch of like classics. So I'm very excited about that because I'd like to read them. They were all on sale. Yeah, I think they were on sale and then you got like double points or something. So that's why I picked these up. I always buy the bargain conditions, so they're not like the best ever. That's why this has a missing spot and this cover looks like it's from like 1970s graphics. I don't know. <laughs> um, but this is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It seems like a staple that like just everybody has to read and I did start it. Um, and it looks like a super short read, so it shouldn't take me long. But it was just like the prologue or whatever. It was pretty funny. So there's that. And then I picked up 1984. Really needs no explanation. George Orwell, 1984, Big Brother. But it's been something I've been wanting to read for a very long time um, and just never got around to. So um, I'd like to say I'm excited about it. <laughs> I am because I can read it on my own time and like pick it up and put it down as needed. But um, it intimidates me a little bit too. And then I picked up Roots by Alex Haley, and this is about um, a black man and him discovering like his heritage. So it seems, it's been on a lot of people's lists lately just because of wanting to learn more about like the black community and stuff. But this book came out in the 70s, I think. Um, so uh, it's gonna be an endeavor. Again, I can pick it up and put it down as I'd like because I have it, so that's good. Um, but it's quite thick <laughs> and it's very little print, so it's going to take a while, but I am excited to read this. It seems like a staple, um, but I'm think, well, I don't know if I'll read it immediately or, well, I have so much on my like list that I want to read and I've just kind of been picking up books, um, as I've been feeling like I want to read them, so. Then I did pick up A Clockwork Orange and this one makes me nervous <laughs> because as I read the synopsis, it's like, in its um, own kind of slang. <laughs> um, who? Okay, it says, Alex, who talks in a brutal invented slang that brilliantly renders his and his friend's social pathology. So I feel like it's this is gonna be an endeavor too, but I'm kind of, I'm excited about it. I've heard it's very weird. Um, so we'll see if I understand what I'm reading or if I need to like have cliff notes and stuff too. <clears throat> All right. And then I picked up, um, this is like the only modern book that I picked, well modern, I think it came out a while ago too, I don't know. Let's see, what's the copyright date? Probably the 90s or something. Oh no, 2009, 2007, okay. So not, that's not too bad, I was in high school. Um, and this is about, um, in like a, okay, here, I'll just read the synopsis. The second civil war was fought over reproductive rights. The chilling resolution, life is inviolable from the moment of conception until age 13. Between the ages of 13 and 18, however, parents can have their child unwound, whereby all the child's organs are transplanted into different donors. So life doesn't technically end. Connor is too difficult for his parents to control. Risa, a ward of the state, is not talented enough to be kept alive. And Lev is a tithe, a child conceived and raised to be unwound. Together they may have a chance to escape and survive. Um, I like this kind of stuff, weird, dystopian, 
stuff, which I've, it seems like Neil Schusterman does really well, because I want to read his newer book, Scythe, too. Um, I think it's going to be disturbing, <laughs> but I think it will be interesting. Kind of like the, I mean, not kind of like, but like a dystopian world, like the Hunger Games, where um, these children are being forced to do unthinkable things. I don't know. I like this kind of weird sci-fi dystopian stuff like a brave new world is one of my favorite classics and i almost picked it up the only thing that stopped me from picking it up in this haul was um i think i have it already <laughs> back home so um i didn't grab it but yeah so those are my books sorry for the long-windedness but those are the thrift books and then i did an unboxing of this um for you guys this is the octonomy and it is a, another hefty boy um, that comes with its own dictionary. <laughs> so this is going to be an endeavor, but it is absolutely stunning, you guys. Sorry, I'm reading a little bit because there's a lot of weird words, but it doesn't seem so unbearable. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, there's like a pronunciation guide and a and and a dictionary. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is the first and what I think is gonna be a series. Um, there is an app, so like for the pronunciation, I don't have to rely on phonetics because I'm not very good at that. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see like first looks into this, or you can look up spoiler-free reviews on BookTube and such. Because I'm going into this completely blind, so we shall see. But it was very pretty, and I got sucked in right, <laughs> right away when I saw somebody else unbox it. So I just um, impulse bought it. But yeah. So those are my reading books. I know that's boring to some of you guys, but thank you for sticking around if you're still here. Um, and then finally, just some randomness. I bought some stickers off of Etsy, and they're so cute. And I'm going to have to show you them in a color and chat or something, too, or maybe a live. Um, but it's the store, this one is the store sticker, Wish Upon Magic, but look at little Pascal. He's in a drink and it's so cute. Look at his pansy or violet. This reminds me of like the violet lemonade at Flower and Garden, but look how cute he is. Look at his little face. And then I picked up a piglet, of course, had to have a piglet. So this one I'm thinking about sticking on my phone, but we'll see. I can't decide where I want to put them. But he's transparent, so it's just like an outline when you pull the backing off. And then this one's my favorite. This is why I even bought any of the stickers. Look at it. It's the poo moose butt, and I can't handle it. It makes me laugh. <laughs> I saw it, and I was like, I need that. I need that sticker. That's one of my favorite scenes, like, ever. Oh, poo, you messed up my moose. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. So, yeah. Um, just some little random bits, but wanted to show you guys. They're so cute. <clears throat> so yeah. All right, my friends, I will stop talking your ear off now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think below. If you have any of the books, um, if you want a buddy color, all that good stuff. So yeah, I think that is all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!